A lot of questions have been coming in about can dreams be taken as evidence in Islam? Well, if we look at Sahih al-Bukhari number 2015, it's reported that some of the Sahaba used to see in their dreams what night Laylatul Qadr would be on. And all of their dreams agreed that Laylatul Qadr would be in the last seven nights. So if they were seeing, if they were told in their dreams what night Laylatul Qadr would be on, what further explanation do you need to answer that question? But if you need further explanation, we can look at what Shaykh ibn Uthaymeen said about the hadith of the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, dreams are one of the 46 parts of prophethood. Shaykh ibn Uthaymeen said, that is because the angels come to people and give them parables about what's happening or what's going to happen in the future. So these dreams are given to non-prophets and they are like wahi, but they are different from wahi. This is what Sheikh Ibn Taymin said.